Hello, let's do our first geography lesson. Geography is a study of the physical earth and where things are on the earth. But first I wanted to show you this picture I got. Look at that. Isn't that a nice picture? Let me get it in frame, shake it around, make you dizzy. God's hand holding the earth at creation. See how it's kind of red and full of flames still at the bottom down here? Still being created. Not exactly accurate because when God created the world, we didn't have the continents we have now. But that's what the painting represents to me. So that's why I got it. We're going to work on two geography pages. Geography number one and number two. So get number one out, and let's talk about this. It says, God put us in just the right place. We're going to see a, a lot about that. So it, it quotes Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God was a real thinker. He, he planned things out really, really well. So looking at this first picture right here, this is a drawing of a spiral galaxy. We live in a spiral galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy. So it says, God put us in the Milky Way galaxy. And he put us, see where this box is? This is a blown up picture of the Earth going around the sun. But it is taken from right there on the very edge of one of these outside spiral arms. So this is our first at the right place at the right time placement. He put us on the outside edges of the galaxy so that two things would not happen. One, that we wouldn't be so close to the inside middle that there was be so much light and so much heat we couldn't have life on our planet. And he put us on the outside edge so that we could see out into outer space this way. If we'd been more toward the center, there would be so many stars in the sky we wouldn't be able to see much. But you need to know, the stars that you see in the sky are all in our little galaxy. But with a telescope, you can see further, way beyond our stars, to these swirly clouds of stars that are whole other galaxies. And there's millions of them out there. So we are just a small part of a huge universe that God created. So then going down closer, we, God put us in just the right place in the solar system. Here we are. I think that's us. I'm trying to point without being able to look at the paper. With our moon going around us, we're just the right place. Not too close to the sun, so we burn up. Not too far away, so we freeze. And um, so not too hot, not too cold. Some scientists call it the Goldilocks zone. Remember the story of Goldilocks? with the papa bear whose food was too hot and the mama bear's food was too cold, but Goldilocks' food was just right. And the papa bear's bed was too hard and the mama bear's bed was too soft, but Goldilocks' bed was just right. Sorry, the baby bear's bed, not Goldilocks' bed. Goldilocks tried out the baby bear's bed. So we are in the Goldilocks zone where it's just right for human and animal and plant life to exist. And God knew that when he built, put, put us there. He also put the larger planets out here to protect us. Their huge gravitational forces keep a lot of space rocks from coming in and hitting us. So we're in just the right place in the solar system. And then we're on the North American continent, which is a good place to be for growing food, for living safely. We're not where it's really cold up here or where it's really cold down here. We're in a good spot here in, in North America. So God put us in just the right place. So you can color that page if you would like. And I would like you to label all of the other continents that you know the names of. Don't cheat and look it up, but yeah, I guess you can if you want. We're going to learn about these other continents, but label them. We got North, you can write North America here, and then label the other continents. There's six of them on here. The seventh one, Antarctica, isn't on this picture. 
but it would be across the bottom. Okay, so it says, label as many continents as you know. Trying to do this, try to do this without looking them up. And then you may color the picture if you'd like. So the other page I gave you, kind of just for fun, but if you go outside at night, you can actually look toward the center of the galaxy, to this big, hot center where all the stars are really close together and it's super, super bright. You can't actually see it because there's too much stuff in the way and it's too far away, but you're looking like toward the center of it. So just follow the directions on this page and you'll be looking through the galaxy to the center. In the summertime, you also see these cloudy looking areas. Looks like spilled milk in the sky, which is why they call our galaxy the Milky Way galaxy. That is the edge of the galaxy. So if you take this galaxy and you turn it flat and you look out along through the thick part of it, actually if we're, we're right here, so you're looking through the thick part of it going this way, you see those clouds, those are bazillions and bazillions, that's a real number, no not really, millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of stars that you're seeing, but they're so far away and so close together they just look like a cloud. See if you can spot that. You're going to need to go somewhere where it's fairly dark, like have your parents take you out in the country, out where there's not a lot of trees, so that you can see the whole sky. And you'll be able to see that Milky Way. And the center of the galaxy is over in the, in the south. So follow the directions and you'll see it. I know some of you, like Rebecca, David, you guys like stars like me, I bet you're going to go out and do it. So everybody try to get your parents to take you out to see it and then at the bottom of the page tell me what you saw, tell me what happened, tell me who you went with and where you went, what happened. Maybe even take a picnic or take a dessert or take, take some soda with you and have a little party and celebrate seeing the center of the universe or the galaxy. The universe is all the galaxies, the whole thing's I've made. Bye.